Hello, what is up, y'all? So, I have a promise to keep. I have to cover this upcoming season of Street Woman Fighter, and I'm gonna do just that. So, first, I uploaded the analysis video um, expressing my thoughts on the part switch mission, and now I want to introduce each group one by one so we can all have just some background information on the girls and the groups. So, the first group I decided to introduce is Wolflo. So, um, there's no particular reason why I picked them. I liked them when I saw their, um, part switch mission, so I was like, I'm gonna do Wolflo. Um, so yeah, I have my notes, so I'm gonna be looking down. I'm gonna try my best not to look down, because in the first video, I was looking down a lot. I was like, let me try to not do that. But I have my notes. Let me get my notes together. So we can get to know these girls so wolflo i'm not sure what the meaning of their name is i have no clue but their representative color is orange and orange was also the color of just jerk and and proudman so just jerk the winners of street man fighter and proudman they went home right before the final four um I don't, I don't remember their placement. I'm sorry. I think they were like. I don't know. They were cut before the um, final four. So. Yeah. Their um, color is orange. Which is. Just just based off the stats of Proudman and Just Jerk. I'm not sure if you think that the color is like. Supposed to mean something. But. Based off. The um, two teams that had orange before, I'll guess they'll make it to the middle. I do really like them. I still have to see what they can do. Um, I really like them. In my um, first video, I did say that I see them in the finals. So let's see if I can see them. Like, let's see if they can really make it to the finals. So, first impressions. So, the first profile pic that was posted on Mnet's Instagram they all had colorful hair. I was like, okay. They came out looking like Skittles or whatever. <laughs> I was like, okay. But they also gave me like baddie energy. Like they all just seem really chill and cool. And I was like, okay. So they they got both. So they got the colorful hair, but they baddies, you know. Um. Also, they gave a very art like artistic vibes. I peeped that in the back of the, of the photo. They had like art in the back. I'm not sure if that's um self-drawn or if they just really like art but i peeped that i thought that was cool so of course just based off their part switch video i can see that their dance style is hip-hop um it does seem like they were like first impression wise after seeing the, um, their photo in their part switch it, it does seem like they battle in research later on. I um Most of the members, if not all, do battle. So I'm like, okay, I like that. As I said um, in, in my last video, I like when a group can battle. So that was bomb. So that's all for my first impressions. Let's get into the ladies. So in this particular photo from left to right, we have Baby Sleek, Hei Chi Wang, Yini Cho, Mini, Choco, and Hollow. So that is this group right here. So in research, finding some videos of the group dancing as a whole, um, I can gather that they are very groovy and flowy. And what I mean by this is that they groove with the beat when they dance. <laughs> I'm not a dancer, so there's probably better words I can say but um they they like to groove and flow see like how like some dancers dance with lyrics and emotions they just like to ride with the beat which i like because that reminds me of b2b and i rooted for b2b last year so i was like okay i like that um they battle so as i said earlier um most of the crew battles, well, all of them. I, I'm pretty sure it's all of the battles. Um, so, I love that. Um, one thing that did concern me is that since they are a group of battlers, 
I was concerned about the routine makings because last year we saw with Prime Kings, they are also a group of battlers. But when it came to making a routine, it was a struggle. Um, yeah, so I was like, hopefully that doesn't happen with them. But I found something later on that I feel like is a good thing and that they probably won't have this problem. Of I'll, I'll, of course, share that. And um, I put B2B and Holy Bang. So I feel like this group is a mixture of B2B and Holy Bang, which I love because I love Holy Bang and I love B2B. And they also run in the same circles as B2B and Holy Bang. Um, I'm also bring that back up later. Well, not the B2B. Okay, B2B. They were in the same circles as them. Um, I've seen that some of the members actually are in cahoots with the leader of B2B. And I, I'm so bad with names. I'm sorry, y'all. But so like some of the members from B2B, they comment underneath their posts. Their, um, they actually have some posts together on their Instagrams. So I found that really cool. So enough with the groupie vow. Let's get into the first lady of Wolf Low. So first we have Jung Harlo. So with Jung Harlo, for her occupation, she is a street battler and she also dances with artists. So she's a backup dancer. I don't, I don't really like the term backup dancer. So she's a dancer. She dances with artists. Um, with that, I saw that she also danced with Ravi. She, she, I guess, was hired with Ravi and did a lot of shows and performances with him. So I thought that was really cool. Um, another performance that I found that she did was that in Show Me The Money 7, she did the stage XXL. Um, I'm so bad with names, <laughs> y'all. Y'all gonna hate me, but um, yeah, she did XXL, that I iconic performance where they diss Nafla. It was a mess. Um, if y'all like Show Me The Money and, and you remember this performance, tell me how you feel about it. This, it was a mess. I mean, it's an old discussion. Let's see even the past, but yeah, that that performance, she did her thing, did it. Um, and that's pretty much what I found about Junk Hollow. Um, yeah, I, lo I love her dancing style. I'm going to leave pictures and videos throughout this whole thing. So you can just get a little peek of her. Yes, so that's Jung Hollow. Next, we have Choco. So, for occupations, she gives lessons and she also battles. Um, one thing I picked about her is that she's very artistic. In her Instagram, she has a lot of pictures of art. And it seems like she draws or, and, and do designs on the side. I'm not sure if that's another occupation that she has. But it seems like she does make, like, flyers, which I love the flyers that she makes. And, yeah, that's pretty much what I can find by her. My only source was Instagram, so and that's pretty much all from about her. Um, next we have Yenny Cho. So Yenny Cho, she really stuck out to me in the group photo. She had on her little sunglasses, and I was like, "That's a baddie right there." She gave a very chill vibes. I like. I really look forward to see her on the show because um, one thing that surprised me was her MBTI. Like in the photos, she looked like she'll be an introvert, but I later found out that she's actual an extrovert. She's a N E E N T P. So that I didn't get that vibe from her. So I can't wait to see her on the show. Um, for her occupations, she street battles and she also judges um battles. Yeah. <laughs> she judges battles and I'm not sure if like judging means respect. But if it does, she does judge, so she's probably really known in the dance world. So that is that. Um, let's talk upon her. Um, hey Chi Wang, she gives off lessons and she battles. I really, she was the member I could, I could find the least about. Um, yeah, <laughs> so she gives lessons and she battles. She's really pretty and gorgeous. Um, her face card does not decline. I I dropped some pics of her around 
around me speaking right now because she's a baddie. She's a 10. And that's all I really thought about Hei Wang. Next we have Mint. Well, mini. Why did I say mint? I love that for myself. Okay, so the thing about mint, I see that she has this 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 sense of style about her. She always wears the color pink. So literally, you scroll down her Instagram, she's wearing pink. So that's her thing. Um, if if her hair isn't pink, she's wearing a pink top, some pink boots, a pink purse. Pink is her color, so that's what she likes to do. For her, well, that's like, that's what she likes to do. Okay. <laughs> and for occupation, I put a dance instructor. It looks like she gives lessons, which is really cool. Um, I'm not sure if she battles. I don't think that I was able to find anything like that. But she does give dance lessons. And last but not least, we have Baby Sleep. Baby Sleep, I, I, I could find the most information about her. Um, so baby sleep for her occupation, she does actor choreography. So like in TV shows and movies, she choreographs like scenes, um, which I found is really cool. I, I never thought that was a job that you can have. She also judges and she battles. So with the actor choreography, she, she did EXO Kitty for a fun fact. Uh, I know that that show blew up like last month. I personally never watched it, but she choreographs for that show um she also knows bts so <laughs> if you're a bts fan she runs in the same circles with them it looks like she went to the um j-hope um jack in the box premiere and she knows um bts somehow some way <laughs> so good on her she got her connections and uh another thing that i found was that she actually does contemporary dance and so early in the video where I said that I was concerned about their own routine making. After learning that Baby Sleek does contemporary, I kind of don't have that concern anymore. Especially with her occupation as an actor, as a choreography actor. I feel like she would have them in check. So I feel like this team is set. They are geared up. And I cannot wait to see them. Um, some more information I found on ladies is that um, some of the members actually have like little subunits and, and, and they're in different groups. So what I mean by that is um, Jung Hollow Lo and Choco, they're, they're in a group called NMS. It means Navy Melting Slide. And it's like another dance group that they have on the side. Um, it's like a little trio. They have it with uh with another girl, um, so I, so I guess they battle together. I'm not sure. Found that. I thought I'll link that and tell you guys about that. Um, that's about with them. Choco, Yinny Cho, and Hei Chi Wing. They're in a group called AMR, which which stands for A Million Rock Face. So I think that that's yeah that's that's another dance group that they have with them, but it's with. A couple more ladies that aren't in Wolf Blow itself. And underneath AMR is a little um, chain. I, I don't know what that should call it, a chain. But it's called Hip Hypnotize. And it seems like Hypnotize is a clothing brand slash event that they host. So it seems like they host the battle events that these dancers go to. So I find that pretty cool. And... Yeah, so, and the people that we've seen from, from Street Man Fighter, Street Man Fighter, they have gone to these events. Um, I've seen Baby Sleek in um, 5000 Battle, which was really cool. I was like, okay, little connections. So, I love that for them. Oh, another thing that I forgot to mention is, um, as I said, that B2B and Holy Bang were in the same circles as Wolf Blow. I found out that Choco and Yinny Cho actually were in the Mega Crew mission with Holy Bang in the first season of True Wind Fighter, which I think is really cool because I adore that performance. I literally have it uploaded on this YouTube channel. Go 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 look at it if you want to go see because I I love it. That 
that was the start of something for me. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I could find about Wolf Flow. My only source was Instagram, so I did the best I can do. Of course, more information will come out on them when Mnet releases. Mnet is still releasing stuff about them since the premiere is well over a month away. So yeah, I cannot wait to see more of them. Um, I can't see their performances. I can't see their battles. And that is Wolf Flow. Um, I, of course, will, do in, will be doing all of the other groups. I'm not sure which group I'll do next. If you watch this video before or anytime while I'm uploading all the videos in the groups and you want to see another group, um, which group should be next, leave a comment and be like, I want to see this group next and I will take that into consideration. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I can find about Wolf Flow. Um, let, let's, let's, <laughs> let's have a positive season of Street One Fighter. If you want to contribute into a nice civil conversation about this show, subscribe. Let's, let's have a discussion. I, I want all of the Street Woman Fighter fans to come together and just have a talk about each episode, converse. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's go.